Schuler, uh, CBS in Los Angeles. And uh, I'm Brian. I'm uh, the advertising buyer from Nissan. And Liz out here is going to be a, um, she's selling airtime for CBS. Now, are you a Nissan dealership or who are you? Well, I'm an advertising buyer for Nissan. For a Nissan dealership for or the, for, for Nissan in the LA area. Nissan in the LA area. All the Nissan dealers in the LA area or Correct. Nissan in the, in the LA, LA area. area. Okay.
And how many people in the LA area do you think are going to be tuned into? Um, roughly, we have about 1 million men in the LA area. And more specifically, um, around um, age 24 to 55. And what, what, um, what demographic will be watching the tournament? Um, as a matter of fact, um, we have some research, and the average CBS basketball viewer is college educated male with 25 to 54 years of age with discretionary income. So rest assured, you'd be certainly hitting your exact target you're looking for. Well, that's certainly not the market we're looking for. I had no idea the tournament reached that many people and the demographic we're going after. Do you have any additional research information? Yeah, I brought a lot, actually. Um, our research department did a carbine study about our male viewers, age 25 to 54, and the results indicated that 30% of the viewers will be looking to buy or lease a car within the next five years. Sounds terrific. Also, I brought some charts to me to show you the Nielsen's rating for the um, tournament in the last five years. Been really pleased with those numbers. Um, as you can see, the numbers are pretty steady. We actually expect viewership to slightly increase this year, and um, and even more throughout the season. So towards the championship game, they should increase even more. This all looks great. Do you have any promotional deals that go along with your advertising? Well, after our clients buy two to three spots for each game throughout the tournament, we then provide them with even additional incentives. And what might that be? Well, we could work out a billboard deal. I'm sure you've heard these before. Um, where before that, I mean, like after the game, before the um, advertising starts, they would say something to you. They would say something like, this game brought to you by Nissan Titan or Nissan Frontier. And um, we'd give you one billboard for each game in which to purchase a spot. Well, the data does seem to match the market we're going for. Yeah, and this would be at no extra cost also. Do you um, see how the advertising to this audience would benefit your company? Yes, I see that happening. All right, well, let me show you how the service will benefit your company from an advertising perspective also. Okay. So I also got um, another paper in the back. It says um, that our total package will consist of 21 spots. I broke it down, and um, that would run over the span of the three weeks. Now, this comes to a total cost of $269,800. That sounds like a lot. Well, as an advertising buyer, I'm sure you're aware of this DPP, right? Cost of raising point? Of course. Well, as you can see from the Nielsen's chart, it should be that one right there, um, the average estimated rating for the tournament is 6.0, which is really high. And so while the $269,800 might sound like a lot, the CPP is only $2,080. Okay, well that number does sound a lot better. And going back to your ABC primetime show, um, for your present advertising, I have some information from there. And um, you said you spent about $70,000 with them? A week, and so that's over a span of three weeks, which um, came to a total of $210,000, right? That's what I have now. Um, which is cheaper than the deal that I've had to offer you. However, the average ABC primetime show rating has only um, 3.7 meals per So, which means your actual CPP is on a high cost of $3,500. And the fact the ratings have been declining is definitely a concern of mine. So you see, even though our package is about 60000 more, when you take the cost per ratings point into consideration, which is a big deal, our package is about 50% cheaper than the deal you have with ABC. I guess when you put it that way, you to cost to consume that now. You spend money to make money. Plus, keep in mind that the tournament reaches exactly the audience you're going after. And you're not going to get anything like that from any of the programs that ABC has to offer. Well, it still does seem like it would be a good fit for our company. It's not ready we're ready to make such a large commitment just yet. I understand. A lot of people in your industry have problems um, committing to this, um, just like um, Hana did last year. They were reluctant, but after taking upon all the profits that can be made in the long-term perspective, they couldn't pass up this deal. Um, are you into looking into long-term profits? Well, that is our goal. Um, so what is your concern with switching to us? Well, it's the fact that we have a long-standing relationship with ABC. Just safer that way. I understand. Sometimes switching can be a big deal, or can be a little risky. <coughs> but CBS is with America's most watched network, and also their viewer rate is a lot higher than ABC. Therefore, it would make sense that switching with us would actually be a lot safer. ABC also doesn't air a lot of the programs that can reach many as many target audiences as March Madness basketball tournament. So, don't you think it'd be a lot riskier by actually sticking with ABC? 
Yes, Your Honor. Well, sometimes there's also need for a change, especially with ABC's declining numbers. And you're trying to reach the maximum amount of people within your target market, right? Yes, we are. So going back to our conversation earlier about UCLA, okay. um, as you assume, viewership increases, increases dramatically <coughs> when a local school is in the tournament. Now you can see that out of the $270,000 that you'd be spending with us, $70,000 would be um, from the championship game and um, $40,000 from the final four games. Okay. So, well, if it just so happens that a local school is at UCLA, which they sure probably will, <laughs> um, if we were to go as far as the final four or even the championship game, you'd be getting an even better deal. Um, oftentimes, we hold on to a couple spots and hope that um, a local team will go far into the tournament. So um, we actually charge about $150,000 for a 30-second spot in the Final Four and $275,000 for a spot in the championship game. Put that all on paper also. Wow. So the local team made the Final Four. We'd actually be getting this for the same price we charge as a single spot? Exactly. Um, the championship game would pretty much pay for itself. Essentially, you receive the 20 spots earlier for basically free. So are you ready to make a commitment go with the March Madness package? Honestly, I just need to be sure that you and this advertising will bring additional, additional customers to the dealership. All right, well, if I were able to provide you with an additional incentive for all your customers to guarantee that additional customers would come into your dealership, would you be ready to sign today? Oh yeah, I'm sure they're going to tell me that now. Really? Okay, well, how about we work on a deal where we give out a free trip to the final four? In order to win, you have to go into the dealership and test drive a Nissan Titan um, or a, um, sorry, what was it, Titan? Frontier. Frontier. Yeah. That would definitely bring customers in there. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah. So by purchasing this ad, you should be able to reach 1 million men in the LA area, age 25 to 54, with discretionary income. And 30% of these men were also looking to buy a, or lease a car within the next five years, according to research. So. Also, you'd be purchasing the total package. We'd be able to give you the free billboard with the announcement before the commercial break. And by buying today, we will throw in the final four deal as well. Are you ready to go ahead and sign today? Let's do it. Great. Let's work out these numbers. Thank you.